So I'm realizing that that doesn't make sense. Like, we were just tossed out of an airlock and we got sucked out into this space. But, like, it's not like we're in space. We're on a moon. Like, Europa is one of Jupiter's moons. So, like, we should have um, gravity and atmosphere and all that. <laughs> How exactly does that work? But whatever. I I don't know what the gravity is like there, so... And... No, here I was just gonna say that, like, I don't even know if I can believe the whole, like, if you take your helmet off in space, your head will explode kind of thing. Uh until I see it or experience it for myself, but, like, I I think that's just one of those things that I'm just not going to risk. So, the captain, first of all, I'm gonna run a little backwards just to make sure that um, there's, there's nothing to pick up. <clears throat> nothing, like, cool. Okay. Alright. Is he still alive? It's past a minute, so, like, Alive! I'm safe, but jeez. Okay, health and inventory improved. Yeah, it does look like... Well, actually, it kind of looks the same, but maybe it just goes down slower. Uh, but yeah, the captain is back, which is weird, because, like, I thought that he was... Um, eaten by zombies? Uh, by the way, yeah, that's right, I have to... Just make sure that I'm all reloaded and safe. <clears throat> Already looks like a better situation than uh, Tau Volantis of Dead Space 3. Like, we were only outside in the whipping blizzard for, um, like, what, a minute or two, maybe? Um, there's really not... Uh, that many opportunities where it's like this. Like, there have been... There's been a lot of, um, snowy areas in games, but they don't storm like this. Or, like, maybe they have in Skyrim, but that was a long, long time ago. Okay, so I can't run anymore. I'm guessing... I'm trying to see, like... Oh, that's... <laughs> just trying to look at my foot tracks and how deep it is in the snow. Oh, great. So I actually do have to deal with zombies in the snow. That's kind of mean. But also, like, really cool at the same time. Like, I can't fault them at all. That's really cool. Well, yeah, of course. And they're going to be able to survive the cold, of course, because, uh... Because they're zombies, it's not like they really need to protect themselves against the environment. What if I went this way, though? Like, is there going to be anything special? Or no, they probably wouldn't want people to trudge through uh, slowly, looking for things everywhere. So, and even if there was stuff, it'd just be like sellables or ammo or health, and I'm fine for right now. Well, like... If your suit was bad, then why didn't you stay near me? Like, where did you go? And how would you have had the opportunity to get this far? Like, I got sucked out of that room about the same time that you did. Is there webbing on these walls, too? Or is it just, like... Okay. It's just the ice and snow forming to the rock. Um... Uh, Okay, cool. You can run, like, really quickly. Like, were you an athlete at some point in your life? Dang, Elias. I wish that I had, but then, then again, like, <laughs> if I want to be able to do some marathon sprints, I'm gonna have to actually work for that, and I just hate it. I hate it so much. Why does it have to be so boring? I just want that remote from Click, that uh, Adam Sandler and Christopher Walken movie where he can just fast forward through different parts of his life. Like, um, you have no idea how often I think about that. All right, 
So, what's the situation? All right, so it sounds like you're still breathing. Yeah, even if you think you can't, I'm going to carry you because, like, I don't want to deal with this alien stuff on my own. Come on, man. No. I mean, like, I was thinking that you were boring in the last chapter or, like, a couple chapters ago, whatever it was, but, uh... But now I'm thinking that it's great to have you around so that I can survive. I wonder how cold it is, by the way. Like, probably... It's gotta be in the negatives, though. Like, look at this. That's insane. Yeah. That's not gonna take that long. I... what... how? Also, wasn't there a door right there that we could have gone through? Oh, hey, it's her! Finally, cool. Told him not to trust you. How did you find us? Emergency beacon. You're lucky I'm the one who picked it up. You're too late. Not but, like, I mean. where were you and why weren't you with him? How did you run away and, doing? like... But what was he useful for? Like, he was just another prisoner. Like, what would you need his, uh, codes and whatever for? Where do you think you're going? Or was it, like, one of those in Shawshank, like, where they had trusted Andy to do all the behind-the-scenes stuff and, and take care of whatever the warden needed and whatever? So he needed access to certain things, maybe, or... Yeah, like... Gotta get to that. Because the last time we saw her, we freed her, and she was with Elias while I was having to run off and do other stuff. Okay, so I can't pull that because it's frozen. I can't, uh... I don't have, like, a blowtorch in my equipment, so... Oh, I can actually pull it. Okay. There just wasn't a prompt. I was pressing it, though, so... Right. Surface exploration. Uh, right. I'll just quick go here. Right, of course. Have a united day. Uh... I don't know. I can't see any reason that I would need that. It's only... <laughs> only 10 credits though like I wish that they were worth more why are they so uh why are they so cheap when it has to deal with telekinesis like that's one of the coolest things you'd think they would be at least the same price as um the pristine energy converter which is 200 credits but okay so this seems like an area that I was supposed to go in, so I'm going to quick... Where is the outside right? What is further down this way? Anything anything to pick up? Anything, like, to the left or whatever? Uh, I can't go in there, right? So... And I feel like that all loops around, maybe, so maybe I was just wasting my time, but, um, it's still useful to look anyway. Right. Handgun ammo and an audio log. Yeah, what would it take to terraform a planet? Does anybody know, like, I... Right. There's nothing in here. Or, well... Okay, an energy converter. So, I am glad... 
I am glad that I went there just quick look around again and then um I guess heading down once more try to see like um what part of the facility this was supposed to be about wait where if I Okay, yeah, the reforge was that way, right? Please like, I'm not going legend. to get enough so that... Well, I mean, I will... I will if I sell this ammo, but, like... Or, like, I could sell my health injector. I'm pretty sure that I'll find um, another one later. And then that's explosive ammo for the handgun. Which, like, you've been seeing what I've been coming up against recently, so I'm gonna need all the firepower that I can get. And if I die, well, then I die. <gasps> Who needs, uh... <clears throat> I don't even know what I was trying to say, like, who needs to live anyway, like, uh, with zombies and stuff, like, why am I trying, <laughs> why am I trying to survive anyway, like, like, as a prisoner, do I really think I'm gonna be able to get off this planet, um, like, why not just, uh, lie down and accept my fate, like, uh, they're going to be tracking me they're going to know where i am and it's so far in the future that like i mean i know that there's cameras everywhere now 300 years from now like i'm surprised that um we don't have cameras in our eyes you know <laughs> like um that they can just uh monitor us from at all times like I, I see that as where it's going to be going, and um, any time from this point onwards that people do futuric, futuristic stuff and they don't have that, like, I kind of wonder, like, why it hasn't crossed their minds. Um, anyways, uh, weapons upgraded with alternate fire mode. Uh, provide higher firepower, but use more ammo. Press and hold the L2 button to aim down the sights and press the R1 button to use the weapon's more powerful alternate fire mode. Okay, that is cool. But then, like, how much ammo does it use? It doesn't really say um, if it's going to be more or what, but we'll figure that out as we come to it. So what now? out of the snow and into the fire, something like that. Um, there's also a chance that any one of these frozen bodies can just come to life. I'm kind of waiting for that to happen. Should I, can I bust all of these apart? But, ah! Okay, that, Wow, why am I not surprised? No! No! I thought that I was hitting you enough that you wouldn't mutate. Why don't you stop all this nonsense? I was pressing R1 so that I would have the, exclos the explosive stuff. Yeah, I did that again. Um, <laughs> did it say that I had to hold it? I was gonna say, like, maybe I should aim it at the wall or something, but I also don't want to waste ammo either. Yeah, like, as I was about to start being like, uh, are they just gonna be, like, the pods where, um... where they don't really do anything you break them and then they respawn or whatever so okay okay and then how that 
That didn't really seem that ex explosive to me. And now it does nothing. Um, weird, right? Ah, no. And now there's no ammo. Okay. Nope. No, but I was hitting you the whole time. Stop. Oh, what is that reminding me of? Like, it's a game that I haven't played, but I think I saw it. Not, uh, Psychonauts, but something else. Like, the top half of people just being, like, octopus tentacle people. It, it... That sounds like the premise of one of those old PS2 games, though. Uh... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done another episode. Like, I was feeling my brain energy dip at the end of the last one, and I just kept going forward anyway, hoping that it would resolve itself. Uh, if I die again, if I die again, then I'm just gonna let this go. <sighs> okay, I tried to go for your legs, but, alright. You know what? I've missed so many shots that I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to call it here. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I hope this was at least halfway okay. Uh, it, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you later.